Okay, so welcome. In this uh, part we are going to do an introduction to physics. And yeah, let's get started. First, let's drop uh, Q to our level. Uh, let's bring a bit up. Let's bring a cube here. To it will act as, as our ground. Let's scale it up a bit. Make it look like a ground. Okay. And right now, if we press play, of course, uh, nothing happens. Uh, let me delete those rocks uh, with the delete button of your keyboard. If you don't remember, let's delete everything. I guess. If you would don't, you don't have to delete it, but I delete it because, yeah. And if I play, you will see that nothing happens. So let's say we wanted this ball to have some uh, physics. All you have to do is just press on the ball um, over here, and you will see a section that's called uh, physics, or either in this actor or its uh, root component. Uh, whatever you do is the same. Let's go to the actor and you will see here physics all you have to do is just press simulate physics and if i press play you can see that our ball uh, simulates physics and let's say i gave this uh, made this a slope it would fall down nicely okay control z uh, to undo and we do the rotation uh, i don't want my ground to have physics so i, I will leave it off over here okay uh, but how uh, can we control uh, these collisions that happen between the ball and this ground? Okay, we can control them by going to the collision section of this uh, object actor, and you can see we here we have some uh, collision presets. Let's set this to custom because we want to edit them, and you can see over here the object type. Uh, every actor, every static mesh like this one. Uh, has an object type and its responses to other uh, objects. Okay, so this ball, for example, is a physics body object type and it's responding to all other uh, object types with a block. So it collides with all other object types. And this uh, over here, ground, if we go to its collision again, uh, let's say this to custom. And you can see again, this is a world static uh, object type because it does not move, it's called static, and it blocks all other uh, object types. So if you press play, that's why these two uh, are colliding and blocking each other. The physics body is reacting, you can see here, to the world static with block. Okay. And you can see this uh, in practice. If, let's say, we want to pass uh, through this uh, ground, uh, we could do this uh, several ways. But uh, one way to do it is just set this uh, object, the sphere's object, responds to the world static to overlap. Overlap means basically that they will just overlap and ignore. Um, means it's the same with uh, overlap but there won't be any event trigger you don't have to care about this now think of as of now ignoring overlap to be they just uh, all that's the same okay and if i set the physics body this sphere uh, to overlap with the world static with which the ground is a world static and this ground also is world static we will see the ball fall fall through uh, the ground okay so we can see it drops and it has uh, left from the world let's set this uh, back to default and again we could do the same from another way to do this is just go to this uh, ground and set uh, the response to the physics body to overlap so when we press play we expect the, the ball to pass uh, through the ground because this uh, ground is set to overlap physics body which this is a physics body and our ball will collide to the ground because everything here is block and everything in the ground also is block so by default uh, you can see this um, over here yeah everything is block so pass the ground and hit the ground the other ground <laughs> okay so yeah that was the behavior and you can do this with uh, any shape uh, can 
simulate physics any primitive uh, shape this I'll call primitives because they are the basic shapes uh, where is it? okay you can set this to simulate physics simulate physics and if you play all will uh, pass through but let's uh, go to collision of this and send everything to block and yeah there we go let's give this a slope to have some nice interactions and yeah okay so yeah okay so now let's uh, delete our primitives over here with the uh, delete button and let's say I want to have uh, our rock with using the last part uh, to interact with physics okay so let's go to where is it props okay rock there we are okay you can see here uh, that if I press on the rock and try to simulate physics we we can't we basically can't and that's why we haven't set up um, a collision for this uh, mess okay for this static mess the rock in this case so let's okay let, let me again dock the browser uh, yeah let me dock the browser okay dock the browser okay and go start the content props okay and if I open this mess okay um, this is the mesh viewer or yeah and here we can add collision to our mesh and uh, do other stuff but yeah now we want to add some collision to this uh, rock we can go over here collision and we can add uh, a box collisions capsule sphere uh, and so on so let's add a box collision and let's save let's go over here and you can see now that we can uh, simulate physics and if I simulate and play you can see our draw our rock uh, will will now drop and it will act as a box it won't collide with exactly where our mess is it will collide with this uh, outside box we have you can see over here this green box outside if you wanted uh, to make this more uh, accurate you can go over here collision let's remove collision and you can go here auto convex collision and here you have some settings and click apply you can see it will try to approximate the shape of uh, our rock with this kind of shapes and if we save and press play you can see now we have more accurate collisions and it will act more as it's colliding with our mess okay so yeah uh, that was about it we can make two and have them collide and yeah okay so yeah that was about uh, collisions and physics uh, introduction i guess and yeah hope you liked the video and understood this uh, leave feedback in the comments and uh, yeah bye